there are several version of a spring like if we talk about uh, spring 1.1.2 before it was 1.1 and then it has come spring 2.0 and then it has come 2.5 so this version was having support of like java 6 in spring 2.5 there's a support of java 6 and j2e5 it also supports JDBC 4.0. There's a support of Java Mail, ZTA 1.1. Okay. So these are the major enhancements happen with the Spring 2.5, and let us is the Spring 3.0. If we talk about the Spring 3.0, new thing has been added in the spring 3.0 so first of all I can say it is revised with Java 5 the whole thing has been revised with Java 5 like in Java 5 we are having features I can say uh, generics variable arguments right annotations let us say generics okay and variable arguments annotations and all it has been revised with java 5 and it supports java 6 j2e6 i mean j2e6 there's a support of j2e6 now it has introduced one expression language and we call it SPL that is what a spring expression language has been introduced in spring 3.0 or I can say what are the models we are having in the spring I'll explain in details all the model to you so all these models has been revised okay so I can say it has been reorganized models like we are having several models in a spring that is AOP model, a bean model, ZDBC model that all has been reorganized and there are some IOC enhancement happen inversion of control enhancement okay and there's the one support embedded database support is there embedded database support these are the major enhancement with the spring version 3.0 okay one thing more before starting I would like to introduce the way to create object what are the way to create object let us say you are having a class let us say you are having a class student okay now I want to create object of this student one very normal we are having new operator so we can simply do here student s equal to new student very common right generally we do this job what are the other ways to create object there's a one we are having a new instance so we'll use new instance let us see the second one how we can do uh, let us say we are having a student s1 equal to so here we are not going to use new operator without new operator we will create object so I'll just say here student 
and then I say here class dot for name what is the class I have I have a student class so writing here student okay and then I will say here dot new instance right together new instance which will create object okay there are some factory method which also help us to create object let us talk about the third one using clone method so how we can do that uh, let us say you are having a student s this is my s object already one object is there I want to create another object so I can do what here as a student as two equal to what s dot clone s dot clone so we have got another object now right for using deserialization let us say some object has been stored to the file and I want to get object from that file so in that case if you remember I use what object input stream and I say a equal to new I pass object input stream I just write here object input stream and inside that let us uh, have a file that is a uh, st dot some text file or some dat file okay close it now what we do here I'll just say here student s3 equal to I'll just type cast to student now and then we do what a dot read object right a dot read object so one object is ready here another object is ready here right these are the several ways to create object so here in a spring we'll use and we'll create object I mean I will get object from the IOC container IOC container will create object and give us the reference of that object and we can keep using that object and who will help him there's a bin factory and application context will help him to create object okay